What's good with your fam fam? Welcome to Big Faces Worldwide where we talk nothing but this boxing. Jamal Charlo, man. It has been announced that Jamal Charlo will face uh, Brandon Adams, man. If y'all don't know who Brandon Adams is, that's the winner of the last season of The Contender. Now, I just I really want to talk about no disrespect to Brandon Adams um, throughout this video when I when I talk about what I'm going to talk about. But I think Jamal Charlo is wasting away over there at PBC. I'm just going to come out and, and say it. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't understand what he's doing, what he's waiting on. You know, you know what I mean? Uh He's in his prime years, man. Jamal Charlo will be 29 years old in May, you know, May 19th, if I'm not mistaken, man. These are your prime years, man. Now, if you're in boxing to make, you know I mean, just to make money and just to, you know, get by, then, you know what I'm saying, that's cool. That's cool. You know what I mean? Keep doing what you're doing. But if you're in boxing, like most boxers get into boxing for, that is to win championships, to create a legacy, you understand what I'm saying? To to have your name go down in the history books as one of the best fighters in the world, then he needs to leave PBC, man. All the champions champions are at the zone. You understand what I'm saying? We have yet to see Jamal Charlo face a uh, an elite fighter. You know what I mean? Um, just think about his last five fights. You know, uh, he fought uh, Austin Trout. You know, he fought um, Julian Williams. He fought Hugo Santana, uh, Jorge Highland, and he fought Matve Korbov. None of those guys are elite fighters. No disrespect to none of them guys, but none of those fighters are going to get his name uh, in, in, the, in the legacy books, in the history books. None of those fighters are. You know what I'm saying? None of those fighters are get, going to get him a step closer to that championship that, you know what I mean, that that he, that he should want, you know? Uh, it's a shame that we had to wait till Triple G was 34, 35 years old just to see how good he was. And I don't think we ever really seen how good he was because, like I said, he didn't fight uh, Daniel Jacobs till he was 34, 35. And we all know by that age, you're not in your prime anymore. You're, you're going to start declining, even if it's a little bit. You know what I'm saying? When you're 29 years old, 30, 31, 32, you're in your physical prime as a man. And Jamal Charlo is in his prime as a man, you know what I'm saying? I caught up to Eddie Hearn a few weeks ago um, up there in Verona, Verona, New York, man. Um, and he talked about, uh, you know, having a conversation with Jamal Charlo. Check it out. It's like Charlo, you know, I spoke to him the other day. How long can you say, no, I've got, you know, I've got this other plan. And there's guys making three, four times as much money. With Charlo. Like you said about Jamal? Yeah, yeah. 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 Do, do, do you think that while they're coming over to the zone, Opens the floodgates for you know, opens the doors for. The I think the floodgates are already open with Canelo and then well, Josh. Well, I mean, as far yeah, as the, the PBC fight. Yeah, because like there's curiosity. Because, but too many of them just get talked out of things. You know, mm. like if you're a free agent and you have the option and the ability to look at other offers, why wouldn't you do it? And all of them do. Well, most of them. Anyway. Yeah, but most of them then get talked into taking a third of the money on boxing once a year. You know, it's just what I'm saying to Charlo. Like Charlo. We've got Golovkin, Canelo, Andrade, and Jacobs. And you'll be paid three times as much money that you're making at the moment, and you will fight all those guys. What the fuck are you waiting for? Can you tell us yeah. how that meeting what, what was? Like? That wasn't a meeting, it was just a conversation. Just no, yeah, just, just, I mean, he said, I'm speaking to Al. Did he and I asked him. I mean, he said he trusts Al to make the right decision for him. Mm. And I said, Al works for Showtime and Fox. <laughs> so what decision do you think he's going to make here? I say what you want about Eddie Hearn, man, but I got to agree with them. What is Jamal Charlo waiting on, man? You have all the champions in your weight division over at the zone. You understand what I'm saying? You have uh, Danny Jacobs, the IBF champion. You have uh, Demetrius Andre, the w WBO champion. Then you have Canelo Alvarez. He's with Golden Boy over at the zone who has the WBC and the W uh, the WBA. You know, uh, Andre has the WBO. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to be a champion, you're going to have to go over there to the zone. 
You know what I'm saying? You might have to uh, agree to fight a couple more fights. But what does that matter if you're over at PBC fighting guys like Brandon Adams? No disrespect. Fighting guys like uh, Jorge Heelan, Highland, whatever his name is. You know what I mean? Fighting a, 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 a guy like Hugo Santana. What's the difference? You go over to the zone, you get an opportunity to fight for a world championship. So what? You might have to fight two more fights over there. So what? You, you get that goal that you want to be a champion or at least to fight for a championship. Over at PBC, you're definitely not going to get that shot, man. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're just stalling? You're just out of, out of stalemate? You understand what I'm saying? I don't think it's very smart business uh, for Jamal Charlo, man. If if the goal is to be a world champion, if the goal is to, to create a legacy that will go down in history books that people will talk about 10, 15, 20 years from now, man. You know what I mean? Those championships are not at, PB, uh, not at PBC. You know what I mean? You don't even have no top uh, elite middleweights over there to give you them to give you a fight that can go down as one of the, the the best fights of the year. You understand what I'm saying? You got to make that move, man. You got to make that move, man. And for you know, for his team not to encourage him to do so, man. I think it's stupid if he wants to be champion, unless he plan on moving up to 168. Because I think 168. You know, what I mean, although there are some some good fighters up there, I think there, uh, you know, there 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 are some holes that that he can he can fill in. You know, what I mean, can his body uh, adapt to one sixty eight? I heard him say before that that he would be able to make one sixty eight. You know what I mean? If that's the goal, then then cool, kudos to him, man. But if his goal is to stay at middleweight, man, he needs to go to the zone, and that's the bottom line, man. And if you can't see that. If you can't see that, then I, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. I don't know what's wrong with you as a boxing fan. You know what I mean? Um, I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? It makes no sense to me, man. And, uh, you know, people kill me. They talk about how they want to grow the sport and how they want to um, build the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? But then they, they turn around in the next breath and say, uh, I'm not watching nothing on the zone. You know what I mean? We cannot grow the sport of boxing if we don't support the sport of boxing. You know, forget what you think about Eddie Hearn, man. If they got good boxing shows over there, good boxing matches, then that's what we got to do. We got to support good boxing to keep this boxing thing going, man. If there's no support, then boxing's going to fade away, man. We're going to get mediocre fights, man. You know what I mean? We're going to get more of Jamal Charlo versus Brandon Adams, them types of fight. Like, again, I, no disrespect to him. I think he's a good fighter. He did a really good job on a contender. But, you know, from the contender to uh, Jamal Charlo, Canelo Alvarez, Demetrius Andre, you know what I'm saying, uh, Danny Jacobs, it's a different level. It's definitely a different level, fam. You know what I mean? And um, that's just that's just keeping it a buck, man. And if you can't see that, then something wrong with you again, man. But there's, there's levels to this thing, man. And, uh, you know, if he wants to go to that next level, man, I think he needs to make that jump to the zone. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, they, 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 they come with stipulations, which I think is bullshit, which is garbage. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got to deal with garbage. You know what I mean? The smell of the roses. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, uh, they want they want you to come over there and they'll offer you um a, say a three fight deal. You fight um Jimmy Jimmy Bobo and Lester and Lester No No and then you get a championship fight. Why not why not do it? You're fighting Jimmy Bobo and, and Lester No No anyway over there at PBC and you're still getting no shot at the championship. You're getting no closer to a championship. So what's the problem? I don't understand it, man. I think Jamal Charlo is a very, very special fighter, man. But we just don't know how special he is because he has not fought that type of competition, man. And it'll be a sad tragedy. You know, it'll be a shame and a tragedy if we got to wait till Jamal Charlo is 34, 35 years old to see him fight an elite fighter like Triple G did. You know, we watched Triple G knock off everybody, everybody. And, and we had to wait till he was 34 years old for him to fight Danny Jacobs because nobody would fight him. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so we really would never know 
how good Triple G was because his prime years were wasted away. You know what I mean? His prime years were wasted away, not fighting the best competition for whatever reason, whether they were ducking or whether the money wasn't right or whether you think he was ducking. Regardless what the reason was, we never will know how good Triple G was because he never fought an elite fighter in his prime years. I hope the same thing does not happen to Jamal Charlo. That's all I got for now, man. This is Big Faces Worldwide where we talk nothing but this boxing. So in the meantime and in between time, stay blessed, man, and keep on supporting this thing that we love called the sport of boxing. Peace. I'll holler back. We got